Oh, oh fuck. Dude, ah, uh, my... Alright, what happens if I try to go through this door? Oh, look at that. Instant fucking death. That's rad, dude. Oh, that's killed my... Dude. I love how my agent's too stupid to shoot up and over a death. Dude, the stupid fucking agent fucking shooting that thing in the stupidest fucking spots. What's up, agents? Hope y'all are doing extremely well. Bringing you a quick little build here that's outside of the norm, outside of the meta. In fact, a skill that a lot of people don't like using just because of its propensity to kill yourself. Obviously, you guys saw that in the beginning clip there. I uh, clipped myself a few times uh, in the process of making this video. Anyway, we'll get right on into it. This is a build based on the Chem Launcher Oxidizer. Uh, I've codenamed this build the Area Denial build as I am using the Oxidizer and the Stinger Hive, which I'll get into the reasons why here. Just so you know, you can pair the Oxidizer with any skill that you think is appropriate. Let's get right on into the build. One of the first things to note is I am using the Technician. I'm using this for a few practical reasons. One is we get the bonus damage to robotics via dismantling. I'm taking advantage of the Amped ability for the plus one skill tier. That lets me run the perfect glass cannon perk, which we'll get into in a second here. And then one of the great reasons to run this is for the Faraday field to make sure we're not disrupted or shocked. 15% bonus armor is in effect while we're aiming. That does help, although we don't have a lot of armor, so it's not as beneficial as some other builds where you would stack more armor. For this build, we're taking advantage of a few different brand sets. So the first thing we're doing is we're taking advantage of the 10% skill damage from the Wyvernware. This piece, I rolled skill damage and skill haste onto it. Second, we're taking advantage of two pieces of Hana Yu. This gives us skill haste and skill damage. This particular piece, I got skill damage, and I got critical hit chance on it. You, of course, could roll skill haste on there if you want to get your skills back a little bit more. I do enjoy shooting my gun, so I wanted that crit hit chance. I also put an 11.7 skill haste mod on here. As you see, one of the problems that this build can have in end game content is no armor regen. You could have course put on an armor on kill uh, perk if you want on there for me skill haste is the best choice go with whatever you prefer we're running one piece Murakami for the skill duration I did try running three piece Murakami for the skill duration and the skill damage at the third piece however that does take away the ability to use the BTSU gloves which I really prefer uh, and really does end up having a lot of team support uh, utility as well as the ability to get our skills back quicker. Running the Sacrifice for the perfect glass cannon and this is where we take advantage of Amped because we're able to run the 15% weapon damage there. Running the skill damage and you notice with the perfect, perfect glass cannon the Sacrifice we end up with the plus 15% headshot damage. The basics of the gear is you want to go ahead and get as much skill damage as you can in. The oxidizer is not a status effect. It does not work. Status effect does not give you any gains to either the damage nor the duration. So avoid status effect bonuses. Go into the perks of the gear real quick. We are using tech support on the backpack. Skill kills increase total skill damage by 25% for 20 seconds. This is a large boost to the oxidizer damage. And the biggest bonus damage we get is from running the sacrifice for the perfect glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 30%. All damage you take is amplified by 60%. This may be too squishy for you. You may want to run with the standard glass cannon. If you don't want to use glass cannon, and if you find that your play style does not allow you to do that, you're just too squishy, the next best bet would be to use something. You could use Spotter. 
and this will make it so all damage you do is amplified by 15%. So that's a rather large bonus as well, and probably the second best damage bonus after glass cannon. You will be required to use the link laser pointer if you're going to be running with spotter, or the other option instead of the hive, you could just use a pulse and that would make sure to pulse all the enemies. So that's up to you. You could use kinetic momentum, put the hive down. Unfortunately, the kinetic momentum does not seem to stack very often on the chem charge because as soon as you fire the first one off, it's on cooldown, you lose all those stacks and you cannot get them back until you're full. So the most bonus damage you'll have is 15%. So I do not recommend using kinetic momentum, but it is still a damage bonus if you find that the glass cannon is just too much for you. Another option you have would be to run skilled, not to get any bonus damage, but this will reset one of your charges each time it procs. Then let's talk about the exotic, the BTSU gloves. We notice this does not come with any skill damage. However, we are getting huge benefits from the transference overclock. Gain 50% hive skill haste per skill tier. So that's 90% Bonus skill haste for the hive right here. Detonating a hive refreshes your skill cooldowns and grants overcharge for 15 seconds. Since we will always be at skill tier six, this will also affect all of our allies. So that will reset all of their skills. This can only be done once every 120 seconds. For the weapons, I'm gonna show two different variations. First off, I'm gonna show you what I'm using, and then I'm gonna show you what would work for the maximum effect if you wanted to use these. So right out the gate, I'm just, I have the car TDI custom on here. Uh, I just have this because as you guys will actually see in the footage later, uh, we are using the, we have the pistol arrow directive active. So there's not a lot of ammo. So this lets me use in sync. My secondary, I'm using the mechanical animal for future perfection. This will count as a second overcharge. So I can use this to buff the damage of the hive and the oxidizer, and you can use it to buff the damage of any other skill you happen to be using. And then I'm using an M249 for in sync. Hitting an enemy grants plus 15% skill damage for five seconds. Using a skill or damaging an enemy with the skill grants 15% weapon damage for five seconds. And you get double damage if both buffs are active at the same time. Uh, so that's 30% bonus skill and weapon damage when both those are active. Now, the best weapons you can use would be to double up on your rifles. You could use the Harmony for perfectly in sync. This is a plus 20% bonus to skill damage or weapon damage. And then the doubled would be 40% bonus damage to your skills and your weapon damage. So that's 10% over the standard in sync. And probably the easiest damage bonus to keep active all the time so that you don't have to be firing all the time would be to use the Surge for the perfect spike. Headshots grant plus 25% skill damage for 15 seconds. And if you couple those two, of course, you're able to maintain the highest amount of damage. Uh, and again, it's just play style. Do you like using spike, taking a shot, and then being able to switch over to your chem charger and running with that or do you like being able to fire your chem charger switch over to in sync and then start attacking so you can maintain both damage bonuses at the same time again really up to you use what fits your play style we are using the stinger hive at tier six we got a 1.2 second refill speed 1.1 million damage on the initial explosion hit from the hive and a bleed damage of 56,000 per tick and then the mainstay of this build and what we're showcasing, the Oxidizer Chem Launcher reads, the Oxidizer Canister releases a cloud of corrosive gas that damages enemies' armor, skill proxies, and causes damage over time. We have eight. They have a 13.1 second cooldown. The cloud radius is 3.92 meters, and we have a cloud duration of 15.4 seconds. For the mods on the chem charger, I'm using a 4.8 because I do not have higher. And I'm using plus one ammo 
So the question is, do you want to have one additional ammo or do you want a slightly lower cooldown? That's really up to you. I like having the additional ammo so that I can start laying down a bunch of charges all over the place right at the onset. All right, Agent, so I will note that I do not think that the Oxidizer is one of the better skills. I don't actually recommend using it, but it can be fun. And if you specialize at it, if you get good at it, who knows? Maybe it could be one of the better skills in the game. I just find that it's very hard to use and there's simpler skills to use. But let's go ahead and see what it can do right here. And then we'll show some gameplay at the higher levels of the summit. So first off, you guys notice we drop this, that procs are in sync. So here we go, 216,000 is the base. To note, if we fire multiple, look at how fast. Now it starts going faster. So the more of these you stack up, it doesn't actually boast, boost the damage, but it does boost the rate of, that it ticks because each one of these clouds is considered its own entity. So here's something to you know, watch this guys. So now all the clouds are out. Look at this damage bonus. So now we're up over 350,000. It can be highly effective. If you can bottleneck, guys, if there's one doorway they have to come through, let's show you what you can do. Toss this out, switch over to this bad boy. Look, we're already back at max hive. I mean, nothing's getting through that door, right? So that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, real quick, I'll show you guys in here, and you'll see, you already saw at the beginning clip, but you'll also see in the gameplay following this, what happens if we accidentally do something like this? So luckily it won't kill us here, but you see how quickly this takes us down, right? All right. So that's pretty much the gist of it. All right, agents, I'm about to show you why I do not recommend it for outdoor uh, combat situations and definitely not for solo play look at this even here there's only a small little area they can get through right so we're gonna go ahead and toss this hive Oh, that was stupid. Like, look at that. So it shows like it's going to go through. So here's what we can do too. Watch this. So I'll overcharge. I gotta be careful, right? Because if I accidentally walk into this, like, see, there we go. So there's all sorts of ways that this can go awry and I just don't recommend it for solo play. Anyway, let's go into the summit, see what this thing can do. If you actually have a dedicated group of guys that know what they're doing, can this build be effective? We'll see. The cool thing is I'll do random shots shooting it in there and then all of a sudden I start doing a ton of damage to dudes that I didn't even expect to hit, so that's cool. Like that right there, dude, all of a sudden I'm, I just fired a shot and I'm doing all sorts of crazy damage. Nice. Okay. Alright, oh dude, let me toss this. Watch this.
Good luck, buddies. There we go. Good luck after that fucking door, bitches. Oh, shit! They grenaded the shit out of me. Oh, that worked. That worked out nicely, dude. I'm just gonna keep that door. <laughs> it's so funny to watch them try to run out of there. Alright, and let's do a quick overcharge. Oh shit! Oh, dude, all right. They just shot me around a corner there behind that desk. I love that. I think Dragon was playing with us the other night. Yep. Or last night, actually. Yep. Which, uh, I actually got that video up on the channel. I put the, uh, the lieutenant and those rogues up on there. My, dude, that's what the problem. I uh, I can kill myself with one bad shot of the chem charger. Yeah. That's, see, that's why I don't use it because it's like the uh, the grenade launcher. Yeah. You come up just too soon, and all of a sudden it misfires. Yeah, but after our discussion last night, I'm gonna make it happen. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm doing this. The cool thing is I'll do random shots shooting it in there and then all of a sudden I start doing a ton of damage to dudes that I didn't even expect to hit, so that's cool. Like that right there, dude, all of a sudden I'm, I just fired a shot and I'm doing all sorts of crazy damage. Nice. Best part, right? Yeah. Oh. And again. Alright, overcharging everybody. Oh, I was overcharging. There we go. Oh. All right, what happens if I try to go through this door? Oh, look at that. Instant fucking death. That's right, dude. And we're not going to be able to res you, I don't think. Die again. Right next to it like that. Yeah, right? It'll just take me down. It's, oh, no, because when I go down, I think it actually, you know, it gets rid of all your skills. So I think it takes the cloud away, too. EMP jammer detected nearby. All right, I wonder if I can get one of these just right on the fucking jammer. That would be cool. All right, let's try to... Oh, with the chem? Yeah. There we go. Oh, I think it would still be immune because you gotta be within proximity. Agent down. You know how much I love the fucking triple Agent grenade action that they do? That's like my favorite thing. I, I hate that shit. So much. Got about 10 seconds and then I can uh, give everybody an overcharge. Go. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how we're going to get over to that box. Wait, no, Jack has got it. Alright. Agent 
why is it everywhere I fucking go, there's suddenly a fucking grenade there? They're fucking surgical. For no reason. They can probably trim the hair on my ball sack. Ooh! 353,000 per fucking tick. I like that. Look how far away from you I am, dude. I got like go-go gadget arms for that revive. Hey, if it works, I'm not gonna knock it. Right. My, dude, I love how my agent's too stupid to shoot up and over a desk. Obviously, I wanted to shoot the chem charger like into the desk in front of me. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> That's almost as cool as you know when you got like a, a two inch thick railing in front of you and your agent's too stupid to shoot above or below the railing so you keep shooting your gun into the railing. Oh yeah. When you're like, all right, yeah, dude, that that obviously makes sense. Oh, oh shit! I didn't even realize there was a system down. Oh hell yeah, we're really going against rogue agents. So much easier. I guess it's so then. So they come out, I could send some of these in there. Rogue sniper turret detected. Rogue the air drop detected. Rogue detected. I hope they drop some action. Assault turret really detected. Nice. Rogue fixer drone detected.
fuck did that come from? Shit, you know I just got hit with the gas. I got a hit. Oh, yeah, come through. Oh, we got one at the door. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Unfortunately, I fired all that shit out there because everybody ran out front, so I, uh... Yeah, he, yeah. he ran out back. Stupid fucking agent, agent fucking agent. shooting that thing in the stupidest fucking spots. That's it's cleared up. I should be able to get you. That's all good, man. I'm. I'm just disappointed with the fact that it's like you can't, apparently you can't fucking blind fire the fucking chem charger because the agent thinks the smartest thing to do is to kill herself. Yeah. Like that's just... I don't see it. Trust, trust me, I feel you, 
Like right there, I, I, again, I tried to just shoot it in the normal spot, and nope, they're like, nah, dude, you're gonna go ahead and try to kill yourself again. Oh, that drone is hacked. Yeah, you have to destroy the server as far. Yeah, but they ended up pushing us off the way back here. So, definitely, we need a jammer, you know? It would help, yeah. Go. I'm gonna stop it for a while. Huh? Alright, overcharging. Yeah, it's a healing drug, so it's just kicking that oh. It doesn't matter how fast we are, we're getting those. It's gonna keep picking up people left and right. Yeah, I'm gonna pick a jammer. We need more jammers, right now. Be advised, I cannot overcharge for probably another minute and 40 seconds. Alright, fine. The funny part is, it keeps reviving dudes right into my cloud, so that's cool. But, unfortunately, they will not let me do that until... Oh shit, I can't go through there, fuck. Kill myself. in here um, at the moment all I can see is you dude I'm over by the server uh, I'm going all right uh, you might be able to get me through the wall when you do 
Yeah, I'm gonna get this one, and then I'm gonna come and try to grab you through the wall, just like you were saying. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just, just bear with me a little bit here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright. Just, yeah, just cover me with all of them. Wait, it's not letting me get you. No, I gotta go around. And luckily I'll be able to overcharge okay, well, as soon as I'm up. I'll be able, or you're up, I'll be able to... Alright, let me get in a safe spot and overcharge everybody. There we go. Oh, we destroyed all of them. I'm gonna hit this back door. I'm... Go down, bitch. There you go. Alright. Alright agents, thanks for checking this out. While this is not one of the better builds I've had, it can be a lot of fun and circumstantially it can be quite effective. Thanks for watching. You all take it easy, be safe out there, and I'll see you agents in the dark zone.